Since his accident, Michael Schumacher has been out of the public eye, and his family has only occasionally provided updates on its health. Due to the family's decision to keep the racing legend's conditions private, the mystery surrounding his current health has only deepened. Continue watching to learn what is known about the legendary racer. Will we see him again? Well, continue watching to learn what's uh, known about the legendary racer. So, what happened to Schumacher? The Ferrari legend suffered a traumatic brain injury after he fell and hit his head on a rock while going on a ski trip in the French ski resort of Metabel on December 29th, 2013. Schumacher was left in a critical condition after the accident, and he was flown to Grenoble University Hospital, where he underwent two surgeries before being placed in a medically induced coma for several months. After being taken out of a coma, he was transferred to the University Hospital of Lausanne in Switzerland. In June 2014, he was eventually allowed to return home to Gland, Switzerland, to continue his rehabilitation, where he remained for 10 years since the accident. It's unclear what Schumacher's current state of health is, as his family has been extremely private about his condition, only releasing rare and very, very vague updates to the public. However, there have been occasional updates from close friends and colleagues. In a 2019 interview, former Ferrari boss Jean Toth revealed that he had visited Schumacher at his home in Switzerland and watched a Formula One race with him. Toth, who was the president of the FIA at the time, said that Schumacher was still fighting, quote-unquote, to recover. He said, I'm always careful with such statements, but it's true. I saw a race together with Michael Schumacher at his home in Switzerland. Michael's in the best hands, and he's well looked after in his house. He doesn't give up, and he always keeps fighting. His family is fighting just as much. And of course, our friendship can't be the same that it once was, just because there's no longer the same communication as before. He continues to fight, and his family is fighting in the same way. In 2020, it was speculated that Michael would be undergoing stem cell therapy under the supervision of French cardiologist Dr. Philippe Menache to aid his recovery. However, no official confirmation has been made regarding this. Stem cell therapy is a promising field of medicine that involves using stem cells to repair or regenerate damaged tissues or organs. In 2021, according to renowned neurosurgeon Professor Eric Riederer, who appeared on French television, Schumacher is awake but non-responsive. He further added that the chances of seeing Schumacher as he was before the accident were slim, but he said, I think he's in a vegetative state, which means that he's awake but unresponsive. He's breathing, his heart's beating, he can probably sit up and take small steps with help, but no more. I think that's the maximum for him. Is there any chance of seeing him as he was before the accident? I, I really don't think so, said Riederer. In the same year, a Netflix documentary about his life, more details about Schumacher's health were made public. In-depth interviews with Schumacher's inner circle, who acknowledged the former Ferrari star had changed, were featured on the program. His wife, Corina, revealed that he's still receiving intensive rehabilitation therapy. The family makes an effort to stay together, live at home, concentrate on getting Michael better. Since Michael's always protected them, they put his privacy above all else. Here's what she said. Of course, I miss Michael every day, but it's not just me who misses him. It's the children, the family, his father, everyone around him. I mean, everybody misses Michael, but Michael's here. Different, but he's here, and that gives us strength, I find. We're trying to carry on as a family the way that Michael liked, and still does. We live together at home, we do therapy, we do everything we can to make Michael better and make sure that he's comfortable. We're getting on with our lives. Private is private, as he always said. It's very important to me that we can continue to enjoy his private life as much as possible. Michael's always protected us, and now we are protecting Michael. In the same Netflix documentary, Mick Schumacher said that his dad was present, but only to a lesser extent, quote-unquote, and that their conversations were brief. I think dad and me, we would understand each other in a different way now, simply because we speak a similar language, you know, the language of motorsport. We would have had so much more to talk about, and that's where my head is most of the time, thinking that that would just be so cool. I would give up everything just for that. These moments that I believe many people have with their parents are no longer present, or to a lesser extent, anyways. Sometime last year, Tot stated that Schumacher was quote-unquote in the very best of hands, in that they were doing everything possible to help him. Tot told German media, I'm happy that the fans, not only in Germany, think of him so much. People ask so much about Michael. The fans should know that he's in the best of hands, in the best situation that he can be, and he's surrounded by people who love him. As long as I'm in this world, I will always visit him. 
Sometimes we see each other three times a week, sometimes not for a whole month. They are my friends, and we're in constant contact. Whatever I can do for the Schumacher family, I'll do it. The most recent information was provided by Eddie Jordan, who formerly served as Schumacher's team manager. The Irishman disclosed that Schumacher's wife had refused him access to see the seven-time world champion. He acknowledged that it was difficult for his wife, Karina, but they didn't harbor any ill will, he told the media. I reached out and at one stage asked, was it appropriate and did I think I should, we should go and visit him? And the answer was no. No visitations for anyone at the moment, except for actual direct family. Jordan did, however, admit that he had spoken to Mick about his father's condition, and despite Mick's own difficulties in Formula 1, Jordan said Mick always spoke highly of his father. However, since then, young Mick Schumacher, Michael's son, has reached out to me, and he's been extraordinary. As far as I'm concerned, I was touched by it. And the reason I was touched by it was because it can't be easy knowing that your father isn't able to be a part of the family. He's there, but he's not there. It touched me because I feel so much for Michael. I went out of my way to find him, give him his first chance in spa. Didn't last very long, but that love for him still lasts and will always do so while I'm able to draw breaths, said Jordan. Despite his absence from the racing scene, Schumacher's legacy lives on as one of the greatest drivers of all time. With seven Formula One championships and numerous records to his name, fans and supporters around the world continue to hold out hope for his recovery. Many have speculated on the severity of Schumacher's injuries and the extent of his recovery. Some report suggests that he's unable to speak or move, while others have claimed that he's able to communicate through eye movements. The family has kept his condition closely guarded, and little information has been released about his progress. It's reported that he now receives round-the-clock care at his home in Switzerland, where a team of specialists tends to his needs, which is believed to cost more than $135,000 every month. Regardless of the uncertainty surrounding his health, one thing's for sure. Schumacher remains one of the most beloved figures in motorsports history, and fans can continue to hope for his full recovery and return to the public eye. Or at least a partial recovery. Some sort of semblance of consciousness and uh, happiness, you know? His accomplishments on the track are unparalleled, and his influence on the sport can't be overstated. Man's a legend. A celebration of Schumacher's accomplishments continues despite his current condition. And even in his absence, Schumacher's legacy continues to inspire future generations of drivers. Many of today's top drivers have cited him as a major influence on their careers, and his impact on the sport can be seen in the way that it's evolved over the years. Schumacher is best known for his record with the most Formula One championships with seven titles, which he holds together with Lewis Hamilton. During his career, he also won 91 Grand Prix races. Yeah, the, the 54-year-old Schumacher won two of his Formula One World Drivers' Championships with Benetton in 1994 and 1995, he then moved to Ferrari in 1996 and went on to win five consecutive championships from 2000 to 2004. Schumacher retired from Formula One in 2006, but he made a comeback in 2010 with Mercedes before retiring for good in 2012. Many fans are hopeful for his eventual return to the public eye, but it continues to remain to be seen if that's actually going to happen and if, you know. Anyways, all we can do is continue praying for his well-being and recovery, or if that's not your thing, sending positive energy, just thinking good thoughts in general and that's it for today guys like the video if you enjoyed it also make sure to tap the subscribe button for more amazing formula one content thank you for watching and bye for now